Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from WebTech Tutorial. In this episode, I will be guiding you through how to use WhatsApp on Android device for beginners. WhatsApp is a popular messaging app that allows you to send messages, make voice and video calls, share media and more. In order to start using WhatsApp on your Android device, you will first need to begin with the installation process. So let's go ahead and dive into the video. Step 1. Installing WhatsApp on your Android device. First of all, launch open your Google Play Store on your Android phone. In the search box appearing at the top, type in WhatsApp and search. In the search result, tap on the WhatsApp Messenger application from WhatsApp LLC. Click on the install button and wait for the installation to complete. Once the app is installed, tap on open. Once you open up the application, agree to the terms and policy of WhatsApp at the bottom of the screen by tapping on agree and continue. Select your country from the top of the screen and enter a phone number that is available to you for verification. Once typing in the phone number, tap on next at the bottom. Confirm if your phone number is correct and then allow WhatsApp to manage call and access your call log from your device. Tap continue and you will then need to allow necessary permissions for the app such as connecting to your phone's contact, access your phone logs and much more. You will then receive a phone call on the phone number that you just entered once you answer the phone or you may also receive a verification code sent to you via SMS. Enter the verification code in the text boxes. After entering the code, you will be able to verify your phone number. Now, make sure to provide your name and optional profile photo in order to build up your profile. Make sure to enter your name and after you enter your name, tap on next. Now you can create a passkey for security so that you can easily log in with the help of your passkey, which gives you a secure and easy way to log back into your account. You can create a passkey by tapping on create a passkey or you can skip the step for now by tapping skip. Wait for a moment and you will then be able to sign up for WhatsApp. Step 3. Navigating WhatsApp interface. After setup, you will be taken to the main WhatsApp interface. At the top of the screen, you will find tabs for chats, status updates, calls and community. Tap on each tab to navigate between them. In the chats tab, you will be able to see your existing conversation. Select any chats that you recently made to open it and send messages. To start a new chat, tap on the little bubble at the bottom right hand corner and then select a contact from the list or enter a phone number by tapping on the search icon at the top right and typing in the phone number. Select the contact that matches your search criteria and you can now send them a message. If you go to the updates tab from the main home screen at the top, you can view and update your status. Tap on my status option. In order to create a new status update, you can take a photo for your status update or take a video. Also, use an existing picture from the camera's library. Once you select the picture you'd like to add as your status, you can now add a caption of your preference. Simply go to the add a caption area and type in your caption. Once you've created an update for your status, click on the green send icon on the bottom right and tap on send. Soon after you do that, you will be able to create a new status update. Go to the top right corner and tap on calls and the call tabs will display your call history and allows you to make a voice and video calls. To start calling a contact, tap on the little plus icon right at the bottom right where you can see the receiver icon. Now select a contact you'd like to call or enter a new call link by selecting new call link option, select a call type and you will be able to create a new call link where people can join in. To create a new contact, Tap on the new contact button, enter the first name for the contact and similarly enter their last name, enter the phone number for the contact and tap on the save button at the bottom. Step 4. Sending messages and medias. If you want to send a message to a contact, simply tap on the chats icon at the top and 
go to the little paper kinda icon at the bottom right hand corner. Select a contact you'd like to send a text message to. You can select the contacts from the contacts tab or you can also select a contact you'd like to chat with that you've recently contacted with. Soon after you open up the conversation thread, go to the message tab at the bottom. Type in your message you would like to send. And if you want to send media such as photos, videos, documents, etc., tap on the little attachment icon which looks like a paperclip icon right next to the text bar. Now select the media you would like to send from gallery, camera, location and others. You can also record and send voice messages by tapping and holding on the microphone icon at the bottom right corner. Go ahead and record whatever you want to record and then release the finger to send the voice note. Step 5. Make voice and video calls. To make a voice call, open up a chat with the contact you would want to call. Once you end up in the conversation page, tap on the phone icon at the top right hand corner of the screen and you will be able to make a voice call with the selected contact. To make a video call, tap on the video camera icon instead which should appear right in front of the phone icon. You can also initiate a call by tapping on the calls tab at the top right and selecting a contact you would like to make a call. Step 6. Customizing WhatsApp settings. If you want to customize your WhatsApp settings, then Simply go to the top right hand corner and tap on the three dots. Select settings from the list. Right from here, you can customize various aspects of WhatsApp, including your account, chats, notifications, and much more. You can explore the settings menu to personalize your WhatsApp experience according to your preference. WhatsApp also offers many additional features including group chats, WhatsApp web for desktop access, and WhatsApp businesses for business users. If you also want more tutorials on them, make sure you comment down in the comment box below. You can now start exploring the app further to discover these features and how to use them. And now you have successfully learned how to use WhatsApp on your Android device. You can use the platform to connect with friends and family easily and conveniently. That's the wrap up for our tutorial on how to use WhatsApp on Android device for beginners. Thank you for watching and if you found the video to be helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials from us.